Hey, I'm Charles. I'm living in that 1978 Westphalia. I'm actually from Quebec, still doing a documentary by my own. Yeah, so this is it. It's my home. Sure, sure, sure. Right, so first inside there's a dog because I'm traveling with Jesse, my dog. Jesse's eight years old German Shepherd blend with a Rottweiler. She's actually traveling with me uh, always. She's staying in the van while I'm working because what I'm doing is I'm not... Some people have work to van lifing so they're, they can work by from home and like on computer and all of that but I don't so my way to do things is reaching a point having I'm, I'm having a goal I'm reaching that point then I'm gonna work there so it's what I'm doing right now I'm working like 35 hours which I'm not made for that shit I'm, <laughs> I should I shouldn't work that much like I, I really like to take my time and yeah so and Jesse's waiting for me so I had to train her to stay in the van wait for me it's, it's not worse than staying in hop in an apartment like for eight hours waiting for your owner that comes back so no and she's super happy she's super lovely so there's my <laughs> my couch right over there that i it's actually my bed too i think that everybody's on uh, uh, westphalia have that have that messy trunk in the back this westphalia is um, a champagne edition which is like the kind of deluxe deluxe of the Westphalias so I do have okay that's my dirty dishes but <laughs> I do have uh, a sink and um, a kind of stove like burners I do have a water tank um, I have a lot of I can like um, stock a lot of things on there but it's actually that's great but it's like what I was saying it's not enough because I have to do my grocery two times a week because of that it's okay because it's just like a different routine like but I rather do one times a week my grocery and like that's it it's done I do have a little uh, it's a freezer but it's a freezer ish so I'm using I'm using it like just just as a cooler and I'm able to do like almost all the foods someone can do and their own place it's, it's just a different setting I have like three or four pans for what I need it's a tiny tiny kitchen but I can do almost everything so that's a way enough for me I'm not eating at restaurant that much because I don't want to it's like a healthy thing like trying to stay in shape because if you don't eat well I think eating is like the basic of your home so if you're able to do good food and uh, stay in shape because you eat well it's like the be one of the better base like you start well for, for van life as I don't have enough of places I do have like uh, a shopping bag <laughs> a reusable bag and all my food stay in the front like in the <laughs> and you got to show it <laughs> yeah so I, I do have a couple of food that I kept and that I keep in front because my dog's gonna eat it if I left it in the back and yeah so like I'm kind of bread or things like that and I don't have enough of room I'm just put it there electricity kind of uh, okay I got to charge my phone I charge it at, uh, charge it at, at work yeah and when <laughs> there's a lot of thing I'm doing at work uh, charging water because I got to fill my water tank and I do have that that little buddy that I'm feeling like it takes me like six bottles like this to fill my my water tank so once a week I'm filling my water tank I'm charging my phone I have um, a little kind of booster pack that I'm charging so if I'm ever out of battery I can yeah, so it's, it's all, when you start van life and you stop looking at things the same way. You're always, okay, where can I get uh, electricity? Where can I get, and it's, you're going at Starbucks. You're going at, no matter where, Tim Horton, like, in the, okay, I got to find, like, that electricity plug, like, yeah. So you see, you, your eyes catch what you need, like, it's kind of surviving thing. You absolutely need it. Uh, for heat, I got my body heater. A lot of people um, 
they're apprehensive to tell their co-workers that they live in a van. Do you ever, do you, do you tell people that you live in a van or how do you feel about that? The first thing I'm doing, I'm saying that I'm living in my van. Cause first, because I'm proud of it. I'm super proud of it. I, it's a lot of work starting living in your van. It's a lot of sitting sit, living in your van. I mean, all you, you gotta have a postal address. You gotta, you gotta change everything. So it's a choose that I, it's a choice that I that I made. And I never had a bad comment. And actually, people want to help me. Like, hey, if you ever need a shower, just call me. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, you know, I'm here to help you. And yeah, so and I, I'm a super loud person. I'm talking a lot with people. I'm talking loud. I'm always moving. So it's kind of. It's my old personality. I can't just hide it. Like even when I'm working, first thing I'm saying to people when they hear me is like, "Hey, I'm a van lifer. I don't know how long I'm, I'll be here. I don't know what's what's coming up in my life. So if you hire me, you're hiring me like you're hiring me for now. Like let's see what's gonna happen later." So you are working on a documentary about van life right now. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, in East, uh, well, the weather is not good as on the island on the Vancouver Islands so we can't live like the old old year on uh, as van lifers but I think there's a social thing coming up in East just get into it right now uh, Quebec Ontario and all that van lifing you know we see all those tiny houses there's a kind of eco uh, ecologic movement growing up and I think that van lifing it's about it too it's trying to go against the society that we live on right now society is telling us okay you gotta go school then you gotta find a job like okay you'll be 15 and we're gonna ask you like what do you want to do the rest of your life and then you're not gonna be happy because at 15 you just don't fucking care about what you want to do the rest of your life i mean you just want to hang out with friends and having like parties and and it's it's fair after you gotta find the love of your life after you go buy a house, have kids, and then buy a bigger house. I think that van lifing is the kind of hippie movement. Like, as, as we saw in, in the 60s and the 70s, like, hey, whoa, the society is going in a wrong way. I don't think I see myself in that, 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 that society. So let's create a new one. Let's get against that, that flow. Let's... And I think it's all about it. It's all about like stop over consuming. I mean, we oh, let's get recycling. Let's get recycling. Yeah, sure. But there's some shops behind that. And those shops are, are so gross for, for our planet and our life. So just stop consuming. It's the, be it's the basic of being ecologic. Like, and van lifing, you, you just can't over consume. So you're in that mood. You're in that minimalist uh, mood. You take time to live actually we, we all know that we're living in a stressful society in, in society which people are depressed people not enjoying life people work because they have to work because they need that new iphone they need that new computer when you're in your van you just don't care about your internet access like i mean you need it once a week and it's to pay your fucking bills because yeah you still have bills i mean you still have a phone you must be enrichable if something happened you must pay your gas, you, you, so you take time to live with people. I've met some people because of van lifing that I never would met if, if, if it wasn't about it. I mean, I mean and it, it, op it opens my, my mind and my eyes on a lot of things. We're surrounded that probably you that have a 40 hour job and like that big car to pay and that big house to pay and that big restaurant dinners to pay that you just don't see yeah i'm way more poor than you but i'm living and it's it's all about this it's van life it's not van surviving it's van life you take time to live you take time to see the society you're surrounded by yeah so there's a big movement around that and it's more than just like four wheels and a road it's you can't escape yourself, actually. With van lifing, you're, you find yourself. Like, you're, I'm personally, I'm with my dog, but I'm alone a lot of time. I'm surrounded by people, but I'm with my mind for long times. And 
I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, do I agree with this? You know, at some point in our society, we used to have philosophers, which we don't have anymore right now. So where are we going as a society? Nobody's thinking about it. What, what, what we agree with, what we don't, what... And I think it's still part of van lifeing. It's, it's you take time to stay with yourself and discovering things around you, living with things, with the weather around you. If it's cold, it's cold. Damn, live with it. Try to enjoy it. Try to, to see well, what, what can I get positive from that. If it's raining and raining and raining, right. So let's find something when it's raining and raining and raining. Like you live right in, right in it. So just enjoy it. It's, all about the way you see it it's a social thing yeah and I don't want to be in that path in that flow of the society which everybody's depressed and sad I'm a way more happy it's a big part of me I'm way more happy since I'm living living in my van than when I was in a $700 apartment uh, working 40 hours and trying to buy once a week McDonald's which was a treat that's ridiculous. I mean, to that subject, let's, yeah, yeah. It's still a, it's still a social thing. <laughs> um, if you had to sum it up, what would your personal philosophy on life be? On life at all? Yeah. Oh, I'm always saying that your best passport in your life is your smile. As long as you keep smiling, as long as you look at people right in their eyes, what can go wrong? I mean, go with the flow. Just let things go, smile, and you always be... And I'm the proof. You, <laughs> I'm the proof. You'll, you'll always be helped by people around you. You'll never be in shitty situation where you're in danger or whatever. Keep smiling. Your smile is your best passport. Yeah. And Janis Joplin says one in one of her songs, uh, you know you got it if it makes you feel good. What can I say more? <laughs> That's it! That's it! <laughs> yeah! There's a, there's a Facebook page, Vivre Sous Vous. Uh, it's actually like bilingual. Uh, and yeah, so you can see I'm going back east on June, so that that's gonna be cool for people to see like the old Canada. And yeah, cool. So <laughs>